Three Penn State linebackers after the penalty. Third and eight at the Army 11. Army's working into a strong win. Whoa! Robbie Hall, the sophomore, is met by Steve Griffiths and Matt Millen. Don't, don't be surprised if we don't get an... And Army plays it very safe here. Straight handoff. Trying to go for the first down here with Walker. I don't think they can run against this Penn State defensive line. Army staying close. Gladys, Wisniewski, Clark, Millen, Kubin, the front five. And Robbie Hall. Might have lost a vote in the huddle that time because he had to carry the football. I'll tell you this, Hall and Hill have really taken some punishment from this Penn State defense today. Well, we can hear the pads popping up here. You know how, you know, how uh, hard they're hitting on the field. The play game two, it's second and eight for Army at the Army 25. Skoda is off to the left, the only wide receiver. Rushed by Wisniewski, and Wisniewski downs him at the Army 15-yard line. Leo Wisniewski makes his home now in Houston, Texas, but this sophomore played his high school football at Fox Chapel, Pennsylvania. Hi, Wisniewski, a sophomore, replacing Jones. Play action pass, They're trying to get deep up the sideline. He beats McCurran, lined up as a tight end. They try to hit the back coming out of the backfield from a two tight end set. Loss on the play of 10 yards, it's third and 18. Very short gain for Jimmy Hill before Wisniewski is there to meet him. Along with Steve Griffiths, fourth down, and Adams will be punting to Rakowski and Gooman with 12 minutes to play in the game. Homecoming day here at Beaver Stadium. He has put its only points on the board, a field goal. As a result, 17 to 3. Here comes Suey for six. All right, that time he got a good block from Panky. Uh, I don't know, uh, what do you got, about six on that? Matt Suey has got. Let's see if we can pick up some of the block. And LaPointe and Panky do a nice double team. Down on the defensive end. Here comes the guard pulling. Matt makes a good inside cut. He's got 163 yards and 22 carries. Second down and four. Kip Berneglia is in as a wide receiver. But first, here's Booker Moore. Within about a foot or so of a first down at the Penn State 40. We made mention earlier of the player of the game. The voting goes like this. Four votes from the press. One vote, David Baker, the sports information director. Two of the radio broadcasters, Fran Fisher and Jim Tarman. Our production group in our television truck gets a vote. George gets a vote, and I get a vote. Third and a foot, Penn State just short of the Penn State 40. Six and a half minutes left in the game. So he, he's going to go all the way. Watch it, foul. Did he get in? Touchdown. A brilliant performance is capped on a 60-yard run for a touchdown by Matt Suey. If I could count uh, uh, correctly, which I couldn't do when I watched it, same play, fullback off tackle, great execution, down blocking, great kick out block by Farrell, but he's on his own. He's 215, he runs about a 4-6-40, now he's running away, Farrell's out front, I'm worried here, that's it, Sean, keep away from him, he's got it. And in he goes. He's over 200 yards and 23 carries. Gerald Bennett chased by Kubin, and Kubin has another sack. Of course, now that defensive front line of Penn State can just take off, and you have to just plain feel sorry for Gerald Bennett right now. They know he has to pass to try and get any more points on the board for Army, what with Penn State leading 24-3 to and less than six minutes remaining in the game, and of course this creates a, a field day sort of a situation for a Larry Kubin 
who is a tremendous well, pass rusher under any circumstances. If I said something right now, as well as the offense is running the ball, if I said the defense is control of the game, it is, it is, it's, it's exactly what's happened. They put so much pressure on Army's offense. Look out, Wisniewski has been at this time. Another loss on the play. So now Army, in two plays, has lost about 12 yards, and Army has a third and 22 all the way back at the Army 16-yard line. You know, it's the old story, Ray. If you get up to bat long enough, you're going to get a few hits. And I don't know how many uh, ball possessions Penn State's offense has, has, has had, but they've had quite a few of them. And that enables you to eventually get the ball into the end zone. Army goes uh, to its familiar three wide receivers they employed this at the start of the game. Look out. Clark almost got Bennett. But Wisniewski finishes him off. And uh, Gerald Bennett, the sophomore from Beaumont, Texas, has really had a tough afternoon. Uh, there's some awfully tough people. Here's Bruce in the gap, forcing the double team, beating the double team, slowing Bennett down, enabling Wisniewski to make the tackle.